Today's students demand a mobile technology. They want the technology where they are at any time, whether that means in a classroom, in the library, on the Village Green, anywhere they could be. Lewis University is a Catholic LaSallean University located approximately 30 miles southwest of Chicago, Illinois. Several years ago, we were looking for a way to allow students to basically collaborate with each other anywhere on campus. We started out with the wireless network where we had hotspots on campus, so students could access the wireless in certain areas. And we grew with that for about a year, a year and a half. We had connectivity issues, we had slowness. The images wouldn't upload as fast. Um, you, it wasn't reliable, it always disconnect. It just really turned more into a burden than a benefit for us. Students, faculty and staff just basically stopped using it. The wireless network that we wanted had to be fast enough that the students were getting good service and good service throughout the, the university. And it had to be reliable. Reliability was probably at most importance. When we first met with Lewis, we found that they had some issues with their existing infrastructure. Our recommendation was to change the technology direction. What they thought they wanted was, was more access points, more radios to be installed to get better coverage. Our challenge from a Scientel perspective was to really look at what was going on, develop a new RF plan, and redeploy a network that was going to be usable for the university community. They were looking for 95% or better coverage throughout every building that they had. We had to provide wireless for voice, video, and data. Why we, we like Motorola uh, so much is that it offered both an indoor-outdoor mesh solution uh, in their WLAN products as well as a very centralized deployable LAN solution. Scientol Wireless redesign of the network included Motorola's Canopy, Mesh, and Wireless LAN product lines, including the latest 802.11n technology, the AP7131, the Adaptive AP5131, and the AP300, all centrally managed by Motorola's RFS6000 switch. Every building has their own point-to-point -point link to a central tower on site that connects their indoor access points. What we used was AP300s throughout the buildings connected to a canopy backhaul on top of the buildings and then for outdoor coverage we use outdoor mesh radios. We reduced outdoor infrastructure by 50 percent and we reduced indoor infrastructure by 30 percent. Now to someone who is not an RF experienced person would say well there must be a reduction in coverage but in fact our coverage had increased not decreased with a reduction of units. Lewis University had some really unique challenges from an RF perspective is that they have three different radars in very close proximity to the university. Two on-site since they operate their own on-site airport, they have their own aviation radar. In addition to that, they have a NOAA weather Doppler radar on-site within line of sight of most of our equipment. And in addition to that, there's a TV station weather Doppler within three miles of the location. In addition, we are an older campus. We have buildings that were built in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, etc. Each of those have a different construction, whether it be all metal, all brick, very thick walls, everything that would basically challenge us to really provide wireless service anywhere on campus. We were able to combat those issues. And all of that was a result of having effective RF design planning tools provided by Motorola and having a good, solid engineering team that can provide a solid design. Having this new wireless on campus has enabled students to study really in a different way. It has a lot of utilization. We've actually quadrupled our utilization over the last year. I'm able to do a number of things more efficiently in the classroom now that we do have access to wireless. You'd be surprised how many times students are instant messaging you for help. So I'm able to get access to those uh, anywhere I might happen to be on campus. One of the other ways that I've benefited since these upgrades is that I'm able to get uh, cell phone usage through the Wi-Fi network. The internet has actually become very integral to my teaching. I post assignments online that are turned in exclusively through the internet. I can make comments back to them, answer questions. I keep in contact with my classmates via the internet. 
Um, research constantly things on the internet, uh, social sites such as Facebook or MySpace. It uh, allows me to do my job without having to worry about the access. The libraries these days are looking at their buildings in terms of e-spaces and that's basically because of the electronic access that we get through wireless. We are an NCA Division II institution. Most of our events have to have what we call live statistics. It's now an NCA requirement that we have those live statistics. We needed that internet access to get that information out to anybody who wanted to log on to our website and follow the action via live stats. Having as many outlets to hear about Lewis Athletics was a key for our bigger picture exposure. So it's more cost effective to have wireless than to wire hardwire three, four hundred yards away from a regular building out to the press box. So with that, you're just a click away from hearing everything that's going on at Lewis Athletics because of wireless, because of the internet, because of the technology level that we have here at, at Lewis University. Wireless systems, especially in the area of video and access control, actually expands our ability to secure the campus and provide a, a safe learning environment. Without increasing necessarily our manpower, we're able to access more areas of the campus more efficiently, more quickly, and in real time. Our security officers are looking at putting laptops into all of their cars so they can communicate with each other and also use cameras in the car to actually see what's happening on campus and take videos of that. We plan to expand our wireless to other uses on campus, such as controlling our heat, air conditioning, ventilation, and using that as a way of checking and controlling lights on campus, again, it's trying to save money. One of the things that really helped the university is the partnership that we were able to build between us, Motorola, and Scientel. Motorola came in, provided us very reliable, very good equipment that increased our reliability a great deal. With that, our usage of our wireless network has quadrupled in only three months. Motorola offers, uh, I think one of the only companies to be able to offer an end-to-end -end solution so we can go point-to-point, -point, multi multipoint, uh, using the Canopy product, their mesh product lines uh, for outdoor use have, have been just phenomenal. And now with the WLAN products being able to deploy to buildings where you can't get that outdoor signal in, has once again been just a great tool and vendor to work with in order to be able to do that. Our wireless network has elevated the university to a new level, higher than it was before. We were always a good university, we're now trying to become a great university and this will help us do it. Mm -hmm.